Give us your thesis in layman's terms, please, about how oil may impact the credit markets. Hi, certainly. Uh, good to see you, Brian. Uh, I mean, the way we look at this, uh, at this issue is energy sector, of course, the single largest sector in, in the U.S. high yield market, uh, measured in market value terms at about 15% right now, and uh, it's the second largest sector in the U U.S. investment grade market as well, so it's clearly an important part of, uh, of our universe. And uh, as you have just mentioned in a previous segment, when we see commodity going down by 44 uh, percent since, since its June peak levels, and, uh, and when we see energy equities underperforming S&P 500 by more than 25 percent at this point in time. Uh, our high yield bonds are now trading uh, at around 760 basis points in the energy sector. So that's about a 300 basis point premium to the rest of the market. And so I think all of these data points are telling us this is an important story. Okay. And tie it together, Oleg. Is the oil and debt story just an oil and debt story in the energy space or does it have the possibility to infect other parts of the credit market? Uh, the answer is we, we, we're going to find that out, I think, relatively soon. In a, uh, in a matter of the next few weeks, few months, we're going to see where oil goes from here and what the new sort of established level for this commodity is. Uh, what we have written in that report is to show that there is a significant sensitivity, as you would imagine, uh, in terms of where oil is and where uh, enterprise value of some of those energy companies are today and uh, historical uh, analysis is showing that uh, once company reaches a certain level of debt to enterprise value, it actually, um, you know, its probability of uh, restructuring or default increases significantly. So it, it really is a question of how many of these companies end up in that camp. And of course, the lower okay. the oil goes, the higher that probability is. Let, let me be a little more direct and blunt as my final question. If oil prices stay right here, 60, 61 bucks a barrel. Will there be bankruptcies and restructurings for some of these oil firms? Well, the answer is uh, definitely yes. I mean, we already are at a point where some of these issuers will not be able to come back to the debt markets to refinance, and some of them will have no other choice but to restructure. So at this point, it's only a question of whether it's a relatively small portion of the market, which, you know, it, there is still a chance of us getting, uh, getting out in that fashion, or it really grows into, into a much bigger problem.